This CoreCon training video explores another CoreCon feature called Invitation to Bid, or ITB. The feature can be found under either Leads or Projects. For today's example, we're going to use the Projects, and we're going to select a project, and under Drawing Specs and Invitations to Bid, we're going to find the ITB feature. The Invitation to Bid feature is an email communication tool that can be used to announce an upcoming job opportunity to suppliers and subcontractors. Files uploaded into the drawings and specifications features can also be linked to the ITB, so vendors can make an informed decision if they want to participate. The primary purpose of the invitation to bid is to gauge the vendor's interest in the job opportunity and should not be confused with the RFP or request for pricing packages where the vendor will actually submit pricing on items. The invitation email alert generated from CoreCon will include a hyperlink that allows the vendor to log into the team link portal. Within the portal, vendors will be able to review the bid due date, time, and link drawings and specifications. In addition, the vendor can respond by clicking one of the options listed. Parts of the invitation to bid feature are covered under separate training videos specifically drawings and specifications, and how to upload those files. There are several portions to the invitation to bid feature. A bid captain, bid due date and time can all be specified. You can link existing or additional files in addition to drawings and specifications. You can select vendors that you want to invite to bid. And the responses can be gauged through the information found at the bottom. With the project selected and the feature selected, we can see that the drawings and specifications were already uploaded. Again, these were covered in a separate training video. To add a bid captain, simply click on the edit button and select someone from the list. That person should have an email address and we're going to add a bid due date and time and click save. The bid due date does show up on several calendars and alerts in CoreCon and in the Team Link portal. We've already linked several files, but I'm going to click Add Files, and you can see that the four specification files have been uploaded and marked Show in Portal. Let's also add the drawings. Click Link and Close. We can also upload additional documents, not necessarily drawings and specs. For example, something like an instruction to bidders. In this case, we're just going to upload an OSIP manual that might be part of the decision they need to make whether they want to bid or not. And we've also included some removal plan and notes for some demolition. Other documents you may want to include here are insurance requirements or existing lists of questions and answers. Notice that the Show and Portal option has been checked for all documents, but if for some reason we did not want to share one of these documents and wanted to make it internal, we can simply uncheck it. Back to Drawing Specs and Invitations to Bid. Next, we want to add vendors that we want to invite to bid. These are not necessarily the companies that are in your project directory. However, successful bidders, once awarded, will be added to the project directory when purchase orders or subcontracts are awarded. Let's go to the total vendors and click add. We have quite a few ways to import lists of vendors and contacts. Remember that contacts do need to have an email address. Let's add a vendor from the master list. We'll click add and close. We can add another from previous invitations to bid. Click add and close. And we'll add another from the bidders list and add and close. We also have the option to add bidders by classification if those classifications were assigned through the contact management module. Now that we have some bidders, we also see they've been added to the not emailed list. If we click on that list and we can select all or any portion of these from the list, we can click Send Invitation. The documents that we've added to the link files that are checked are all showing as available as an attachment. And there's a preview of the email at the bottom. 
and then we just click send email. Now let's switch to the team link portal of one of the vendors we emailed. We can see this vendor shows the project on their master project list. If we click on that, we can see the invitation to bid did appear. They can open that and see the list of documents we've included. They can send back private messages. and click Save and Close. They can also update their invitation to status. We'll go ahead and set this to bidding. We'll move that back out of the road, back to Corcom V8. And I'm just gonna click Refresh. Now under the invitation to bid status, you can see that one of the vendors has responded, and now I have one unread message. We'll click on that. The bid captain would receive this information and either mark it read or respond. As bid captain, we'll fill that in. And we'll click Save and Notify. Back to the invitation to bid. The bid captain can also initiate new correspondence to anyone on the vendor list. Before we do, we want to add a new document. We'll go to linked files, click add files, and I'm going to drag and drop addenda number one and addenda number two. Back to drawing specs invitations to bid and down to general messages. A general message is sent to all of the vendors on the bidders list. And you can use this to broadcast new information, including respond to questions and answers. So we'll click add. I have the option to exclude vendors that are not bidding. I'm just gonna add a comment. Note that I could have also copied and pasted into this area. I have some formatting features. And note that once I've typed this and sent it, it cannot be changed. So check it carefully. So we'll click Save and Notify. As responses come back in from the bidding vendors, you'll notice that the response statuses are no response, waiting for plans, reviewing plans, need assistance, not bidding or bidding. You also have the general messages and vendor messages to monitor. You can also see when someone has accessed the invitation to bid. If you'd like to know more about the information included in this training video, we encourage you to go to the help articles, down to leads and projects, drawing specs invitations to bid, and under features, open the invitation to bid article. This includes the information that was presented in this training video, as well as additional information you might find helpful.